time and here as you can see we've been given we have been given three problems and first so let's answer the first problem so an amount of 1 million pesos is invested in a financial institution how long will it take for the amount to reach 1 million 1000 pesos at 2 percent simple interest so first we have to take note of the event information or the given data. So, so based from the previous discussion, um, the principal here is 1 million pesos because it's the stated amount and then the rate is 2% and converting it into decimal, it will be 0 0.02. And then the formula for interest maturity value that will be discussed after this. So, to find the interest is the maturity value minus principal. So, the maturity value is 1 million 1,000 pesos minus 1 million. So, our interest would be 1,000. And then, from the formula, interest is equal to P R P. We can infer that there is one missing information and that is the time. So from this formula, we arrive to this by, by simplifying the given formula and we have to remove the PR here and then same with this. So cancel and there. So the time will be left and then I over times rate and then we substituted the given information so our interest is 1000 and then principal is 1 million times the decimal for operate 2 percent is 0 0.02 and then simplifying the given we come up with 1 over 20 in decimal form is 0 0.05 so always remember the first answer that you've come up with is the years. The unit of the first answer is years since they're, they're ano, parang hindi natin malalaman yung 0 0.05 years. So, i-convert ulit natin siya in months. So, how many months are there in one year? So, 12 months. And then, 0 0.05 over 12. Kasi nga yun yung 12 months. So, ang magiging sagot is 0 0.06 months. Hindi pa rin natin alam kung Value so, how many days are there in one month? So, approximately there are there are 30 days. So, 0 0.6 times 30, which is the day. So, ang sagot is 18 days. So, what? So, an amount of 1 million 1,000 invested in a financial institution with a 2% simple interest will have 18 days for it to become 1 million 1,000. So, here is our second problem. How long will it take a 400,000 debt to earn an interest of 25,000 pesos if the simple interest being charged is 8%? So, we have to take note again the given information for the data. So, the principal is 400,000 pesos. The rate is 8%, converted into decimal form is 0 0.08. The interest is 25%. So again, the missing part is the time. So our formula for time is equal to interest over PR. Substituting the given information, so 25,000 over 400,000 times 0 0.08. So equals 25 over 32 converted into decimal form is equals to 0 0.78 years. So, 0 0.78 years converted again to months. So, 0 0.78 times 12 is equals to 9.4 9 months. And then, yung point 0.4 i may derive po rin yun. So, 0 0.4 times 30 is equals to 12. So, yung 
sagot dito is 9 months and 12 days. Pero since we're focusing on months, 9.4 months. So, the final problem, how long will a principal earn an interest equal to half of it at 5% single interest? So, take note again sa given information. The principal, we don't have any given information about principal. And the rate is equal to 5%, convert it into decimals, 0.05. even 